Okay, dear students. So let us see how are we going to this question. An electric field acts in the space between two charged parallel plates. One plate is at zero potential. The other plate is at positive V. The distance X is measured from the point P in the direction perpendicular to the plate. What is the dependence of electric field strength E on X? And what is the dependence of electric potential V on X? So we need to find this. So one thing is sure now, like this plate is at the positive potential. This plate is at zero potential, or we can say comparatively it is at the negative potential. So the electric field will be existing within the space and it would be directed from the positive side to the negative side. No doubt about that. So the first thing that we can uh, we can learn from this question is that the electric field is always directed from the positive plate to the negative plate. This is how the electric field looks like. And when we are moving along the electric field, you see the potential is reducing from V to zero. So you, if you're moving towards the left hand side from the positive plate, the potential keeps on reducing. Now, what is the variation? We will see. So we know that there is a formula E is equal to minus dV divided by dx, where dx is the small distance that is it is traveling. Anyways, we are not going into calculus here, so we can convert them into deltas. So thereby, we have this uh, variation E into delta x. So E uh, and in dot delta x is equal to delta V. Clearly, it is evident here that yes, the potential, the change in potential or the potential at any point is dependent on the x and that even there is the linear variation there, not parabolic, not hyperbolic, nothing, but it is proportional to x. So definitely the answer is uh, coming out to be this, either b or c. It is proportional to x. This is one explanation. Another explanation in, uh, in the case of electric field strength is that inside the electric field, whenever we have these two parallel plates, I tell you, it is the best method of producing a uniform electric field. Uniform word means that the electric field value is not dependent on the position. So wherever it is, like the point can be anywhere within the space, but the direction of the electric field as well as the magnitude of the electric field is not going to change. And there's a formula for this also, like E is equal to sigma divided by epsilon naught, where sigma is the charge density on the plate. Like let's say this charge is Q and the area of the plate is A, this charge is minus Q, the area of the plate is A. It is literally looking like a capacitor and there's no difference between this and the capacitor, okay? So this E is given by Q developed by AF cell naught. One thing is clear. Now, there is no dependency of the electric field strength on X in any way. So this electric field is uniform and it is constant at all the positions. It is having no dependence on X. So my dear students, according to this explanation, the answer is B. I don't think that there would be any doubt with you. Now, if there is anything you want to ask, please mention that in the comment section. Let us verify the answer once. And yes, you can see the answer is definitely B. So this is how we solve this question, my dear students. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also um, share the video with all your friends. All the best. Bye.